If you're looking for an easy to use yet powerful Todoist application, then this video is the right one for you. Because today I want to show you the Todoist application and how it works. Todoist is one of the most popular task management and Todoist applications in the world and it's loved by millions of users. I myself have been using the tool for a couple of years now, uh, so uh, I know a thing or two about the application and I want to show you how it works in this video. So let's get right into it. Now Todoist is a free application, but you can upgrade to a premium version. Um, I recommend doing that. It only costs like uh, $3 a month, um, so it's definitely worth it. But um, you can also use the free version if you don't need the premium features. I will be using the premium version though, so keep that in mind. Um, but let's jump right in. So the first thing you'll actually see if you open up Todoist is this screen. Um, and you obviously won't have these projects, um, but this is actually the view that you have. Now, this is where your tasks will appear. So we could add a task. This is a task. And then we can just, oops, if I would be able to type, we could just enter that and now we have a new task. We can check it off right here. Um, because uh, yeah, that's how it works. We don't want to do that right now, but this is how you could do that. You can also add in um, attributes to your task. So you can organize your tasks um, and you can set, for example, a due date. So how we do this is using the hashtag, we are able to assign it to a project. Um, for example, this is my web design company. I could assign that as a project. Uh, just save that. And now you see it appears out of our inbox because our inbox is uh, for tasks that haven't been assigned a category yet. And these are the things that you see up here. So these are projects. And uh, now this task has been added in here. We'll remove this again. So we'll, we'll uh, remove this and put it back into our inbox. And let's go back to that. So more things that you can add are, for example, a priority level. Um, there are four different levels, uh, P1 through P4, P1 being the highest priority and P4 being the lowest and default priority. Uh, you can see that if I add it in, you have this little flag up, up here, right here. And now if I save it, you see uh, this has a red outline, which means it's a high priority. Uh, you can also see that right here. So this is now priority one. Uh, we could also do priority two, three and four. Um, so let me just quickly show you this. We'll add in task two, for example. Um, oops, task two like this. We don't want to create a new project. And now let's assign, for example, priority three. And now you see uh, this little blue flag appears right here. Um, you can sort for these as well. So you could say uh, sort by priority. And then uh, as you see, it would be sorted uh, as it is already. So nothing changes pretty much. Next, you can also add in a date. Uh, so if we want to say right here, we could add this in using natural language. So we could say tomorrow at 3 p.m. And then it will uh, recognize what we want to say and it will add it as a task for tomorrow at 3 p.m. Now what actually happens is you will be reminded for that task. And this happens automatically for all the tasks that you set with a due date. And um, by default, it will be 10 minutes before you actually have to complete that task. Um, you can set this in your settings as well. Uh, so check that out if you want to, but um, yeah, this is also possible. You can also set custom reminders. So for this task, which hasn't been scheduled yet, you can just go in here, say add a reminder and say, for example, yeah, 2 p.m. Add a reminder and then you'll be reminded at 2 p.m. Now Todoist is a pretty flexible tool, so you can just easily grab these tasks and then drag them around like this. Uh, so you could change the uh, order of them if you want to, um, just a nice quick handy feature as well. Now I want to go over the projects. So projects are how you actually organize your task in Todoist. So you have a uh, different project, for example, in my case, I have one for my web design, I have one for my online courses, one for my university, uh, personal, and then I've some, got some templates. Uh, don't worry, this is in German, so you won't understand that part, but uh, I will do my best to explain uh, the parts that are of importance to you. So for example, if I go to my university page, you see I have different sections here with uh, tasks in them. And this is a feature that's unique to, to, uh, to Doist. You can add in these sections by like going below the last tasks and then saying add section. And this will create this section where you can put tasks into. 
And these are also used in what's uh, come out as a new update in Todoist um, to organize your board view. So if you go up here, you can actually now view these tasks as a board. So click on that and then you see it kind of shifts them around. So instead of seeing all of these different sections below each other, you now, now see them uh, next to each other. And uh, this is like a neat feature uh, to, to use these kind of, uh, this Kanban board mechanism. So now you can like drag these tasks around, you know, I could like drag it up here uh, and I could also drag it back. And also, um, yeah, this is how it works. It's pretty much like Trello or Notion works as well. Um, so a neat new feature that they added. Next, we actually have two more ways of organizing your tasks in Todoist, which are the labels and the filters. Um, labels are pretty much uh, labels that you give your tasks. So for example, you could label your tasks uh, by person. So if you have uh, a lot to do with different people, you could like mark tasks as uh, things that you have to do with a cer certain person. For example, uh, once you do a meeting with them. Also, you could label your tasks by time you need to complete them. So for example, you could have a label like five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, 60 minutes. And then if you have a small time slot available, you can actually uh, filter through these tasks and see uh, which tasks you could fit into the time you have left. And this way you could be extra efficient. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty neat feature. I actually usually don't use it because uh, I don't have that many tasks in my Todoist account. And so it's just a waste of time for me, uh, but uh, you might find this pretty helpful. We also have filters and filters also allow you to kind of organize your tasks so you can preview a pretty uh, specific part of your tasks in Todoist. So you could, for example, create a view for tasks that are due tomorrow and that are in a certain category and um, that require a certain amount of time, which you set in a label. This again is something I don't really use, but you can use this and some people will get a lot of value from that. Now, the last thing that I want you to do is to add in a calendar integration to your Todoist account. Uh, you can do this in the menu and by going to integrations. Here you can actually add in integrations. Uh, like I have with the Google Calendar. And what this does is if you create a task in Todoist and assign it a date, then this task will also automatically appear in your calendar and also the other way around. So for example, if you have a certain meeting that you put into your Google Calendar, it will also appear in Todoist. And so you always have uh, a synchronized and full experience of all of your accountabilities uh, in both of these tools, which can be really, really helpful. All right, that's it already for this short and quick introduction to Todoist. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you want to learn more about Todoist, I actually have a full hour long course on all of the uh, little features that Todoist has uh, on Skillshare and Udemy. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can do that through the link in the description. Uh, you'll also get a 14 days free trial for Skillshare. Um, and on Udemy, the course is like uh, 10 bucks. So um, if you found this video helpful and if you want to learn more about Todoist, then uh, this might be just the right thing for you. Besides from that, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please also consider subscribing to the channel um, and also leave a like and comment on the video. If there's any questions you have, I'll gladly answer any single one of them. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Take care, bye.